Howdy folks. Uh, this is that uh, rocket from New Zealand, manufactured by Clef Industries, P.O. Box 37005, Auckland, New Zealand. Serial number 911. <laughs> Emergency. Anyway, so uh, a couple of things. I've just put this here for fun. Basically going to be replacing... Re Gonna be replacing this uh, 4.7 microfarad 450 volt cap. Gonna be replacing this 22 microfarad 450 volt cap, which I already have sitting here. Gonna replace these two, um, and also gonna be replacing these big buggers right here. Now, funny thing happened. You gotta love ordering things online because I ordered. Some brand new caps. Some Sprugs, in fact. Sprague, Sprague. Pronounce them however you like. You can laugh at the way I pronounce them. I measured these. I measured these with vernier calipers. That's how freaking accurate I measured them too. And um, the ones online that I measured, well, the ones online that I ordered, are supposed to be the same size. Look at that. <laughs> so, I am going to have to do a little bit of modification, which uh, is going to involve essentially grabbing or taking these filter caps out, the old ones, and um, I am going to, um, I am going to, um, sorry, I was just making sure that's orientated the right way. That filter cap goes this way. This one goes this way. I'm just leaving them in there for fun right now. Uh, but basically what's going to happen is that um, I'm going to replace these filter caps and put these sprugs in. Them. All right, so I'm just about done replacing all these filter caps. I've done these two in here. I've done these big whoppers over here. This one's been done as well. And the last one I've got to do is just this one right here. Uh, a little bit tricky to put in, but hey, we'll uh, we'll get it sorted, no problem at all. So um, yeah, let's just uh, dump this one in here and see how we go. Okay, so been recapped now. Uh, these big filter caps here. Let's make sure all these tubes are seated. Now these tubes, um, they're brand new. And this is a cathode biased amplifier. So technically our job here is done. All right, here it is folks, the final installment. So here it is, the rocket made in New Zealand. I've got it switched on. I've got the standby switch off. I'm just gonna strum and open guitar so no chord so here's the master volume I'm going to set it to 2 this thing is pretty loud it's 130 watts uh, tube configuration is two 12 AX7s and four 5881 power tubes uh, we'll go around the back and have a look at things in a second now I don't have the foot switch with this so the the boost works the bright works on this channel but I can't test the lead channel because it doesn't actually there's nothing on the amp to switch the the, uh, the channels, so you have to have the foot switch uh, right here. So um, uh, I'll show you the amp working uh, on the clean channel only, the rhythm channel. Nothing on the drive channel because I don't have the foot switch, which means this EQ doesn't. Oh well, it, would, it probably does work. I hope it works, and I'll show you the uh, the reverb. So I'm just going to strum a, strum the guitar. <laughs> Sorry about the uh, the open chord there. Okay, so input volume. I'll keep that at about five. Boost switch. You can hear the volume increase and decrease. Well, I hope you can on the video. Next one's the bright switch. So EQ's all in the middle there. I'll do some bass. Don't know if you can hear that or not. Mid-range. 
back in the middle there, and treble. So you can hear that. Uh, master volume. Apologies in advance, I'm going to run the master volume from 0 to 10, so... Uh, 0 10 I'll bring it back down to 2, my phone's probably distorting because of that. Can't do anything with the drive channel because I don't have the foot switch or the EQ here, but I'm sure when I do switch, uh, this LED probably turns on. And then we've got the reverb here too, so... I'm just going to try to see if I can do a quick, uh, a short, um... So that's the reverb all the way to 10 and back to zero. Uh, let me try another. So there you go. Amp is ready to go. Now I'm just going to come around the back here. Let's have a look at those tubes glowing. We can see, uh, let's see if we can get them in focus. Yeah, that's in focus. So there's no red plating. Uh, brand new capacitors all in here. So nice and tidy. I've got it set to 130 watts. I'm going to let this power soak for a little while. Um, it's been on for the last half hour. Oh, we got a presence dial at the back as well, which basically just adjusts the negative feedback. Okay, so... No big deal there. Um, and yeah, the customer will be very pleased, I hope, with a good work.